So did your deal stay intact and then you guys landed on QVC? That's right, that's right. On QVC, how many how many weeks later did we were at QVC? Yeah, it was fast. It was, it was very fast. fast. I don't it think was... it was a month. But that that weekend, I remember we used to do trade shows. We used to do a show called the Houseware Show for many years. And the QVC buyers will come and they say, no, Bambooey, when you know, for two or three yes, years, so they said, Bambooey, no, our audience will not like this. Yeah, our, our audience, audience doesn't this, buy stuff doesn't, like doesn't that. Doesn't buy like stuff like that. They no, like jewelry. You're not no. going to do well with this. They said it consecutively for one, two, three years. Every time we would see them, we'd be like, no, you don't understand. This is going to oh, sell right now. this product. So we went on QVC with Lori and in 12 minutes we sold everything. I mean, we sold, I've never, it was, it was crazy. We sold hundreds of thousands of dollars and we proved the buyers wrong that people do like bambooey. <laughs> and in terms of the impact you guys saw from Shark Tank versus QVC, what was better? What, what yielded the highest result? Well, you see Shark Tank, okay. Shark Tank was nuts, but it was one time. It's like this ridiculous weekend because it was on a Friday. Before. Are you talking about sales or are you talking about what? What are you asking? Sales. Okay. Sales. Okay. Right. It was crazy. Okay, so when the the weekend that we aired, because I think we aired on Friday because they keep changing the dates, we sold so much that our email server crashed. <laughs> We were prepared for like, they say normally people crash, right? They crash and we, we had new, we, we made sure everything was good. We're not gonna crash. We did all kinds of tests to for <laughs> quantity of people per second and all that kind of testing they do. And then suddenly we hit like, we did like in a weekend, like a crazy number, like $300,000, right? 400,000, I don't remember how much it was, but something like that, nuts number. And then we find out that people order more than once we saw that that was weird and then we realized oh my god we changed everything except the email server only had up to 1,000 or 300 people per month and more than like oh, four or five thousand people had ordered right or ten thousand i don't know so people when they didn't get an email confirming they ordered were so desperate they ordered again and they ordered again so we had like like a percentage of all the sales that we had to fix because they didn't order three times the product. Wow. So that's our nightmare story that took like three weeks to fix, right? Was it yeah. three weeks? Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.